Bruce, how are you? My very best buddy, my old pal. Hi there, Brucey. <laughs> What's it been? I don't know, three weeks. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, last time I laid eyes on you, must have been... Oh, yeah, you didn't believe me when I told you I killed those agents in self-defense. <laughs> it really cleared something up for me, because friends trust each other. So, I guess we know what you aren't. Harley and I have the virus, and if we're anything, we're sharers. It's just too fun to keep to ourselves. So picture how it hit you when you lost those few dozen people on the bridge. Now think about all of Gotham. Maybe then you'll know what it feels like when a friendship dies. Batman, over here. What happened? I... You need to see it. He's down that way. We're trying to help him, but... familiar. Bullock. We managed to save him from bleeding out. The clouds. We think it's some kind of booby trap. Until we get someone here with an X-ray, we can't risk moving him. Let me see what I can find. I can't cut him down until I'm sure this isn't some kind of trap. Can you tell me what happened? I... I don't know. My stomach, it hurts like hell. Ow. Dilated pupils. Signs of head trauma. With what's happened in Gotham lately? I'm not taking any chances. Something's buried beneath the skin. Did John do this? Shrapnel. It's an old wound. Some kind of device. Pacemaker. Get these people back. It could be a bomb. We need to clear the area! Back up! Oh, oh God! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! It's safe to cut him down. We're past the sick punchline. Guess this is the world we live in now. Turns your stomach. Jim. Still on that side of the police line, eh? 
And do they know you're the type of guy who warns criminals about GCPD stings? You're lucky I can't do anything about it. Waller can me. Right in front of that lowlife Wayne. You remember him? The guy you didn't bring in for me? Yeah, so I had to try to do it myself. That's when she pulled the trigger. Sorry to hear that. Gotham is worse off because of it. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before making me look incompetent. Catwoman slipping through my fingers like that doesn't look good. But, yeah, sorry makes it all better. Vitals are dropping. <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. Oh, Jesus. Now, this time off, it's given me some time to think. Back in the day, it was only the gangsters you had to worry about. Now, cops are cut open and filled with carnival toys. Makes you wonder. How'd we get here? I look around, the streets are the same. The only real difference is Batman. This is just one ex-cop's opinion, but these freaks came out of the woodwork because of you. You gave them the target. You set the bar. And just look at the results. Gotham's in bad shape. You feel it on a day like today. I do all I can to keep these scum off the streets, but I can't do it alone. Help me fight back. You weren't interested in keeping scum off the streets when I tried to bring in Catwoman. We did make a good team before she got here. Maybe I've been holding a grudge for nothing. I don't know, maybe I'm the dinosaur here. All the good people were the ones going extinct. This John Doe guy probably won't stop until you're dead. Try not to take the rest of us with you. Batman, Bullock's asking for you. I tracked a stolen van full of clowns. So I followed to see what they were. <laughs> Easy, Bullock. No. I gotta tell you what I saw. They... picked up a drop. Was John Doe with them? They left a box. Oh, goddamn freaks. <laughs> <laughs> No sign of explosives. Should be safe to open. Automatic weapons. They're heavily armed. Authorized by Wayne Enterprises. And signed for by... Chairwoman Regina Sellerbach. Regina can't come to the phone right now. This is her assistant. This is Bruce Wayne. Oh, hello. Tell Regina I need to speak to her. I'll be there shortly. I'll let her know. Thank you.